man. I really want to fly some DCS. God damn. Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Murder Hogs, or Bourbon and DCS, where I'm going to drink bourbon and fly the A-10 and talk about things, and today's episode is going to be on the tour, which is, it's a goddamn piece of work. Uh, today I am drinking Calumet Small Batch, which is one of my favorite bourbons, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Now, why am I doing Seed or Dead in an A-10? Well, mostly because it's my favorite mission, and the A-10 wasn't exactly designed to do it, but it can do it, and I think it's a lot of fun. This is the ideal Seed loadout. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Well, at least in my opinion. Anyway, um, we're going to be looking at some conventional tactics to taking on the tour in the A-10, which is very, very scary for an A-10, and even some unconventional tactics uh, like cheesing the tour. We're going we're gonna to do it all today. Screw it. We'll do it live. Okay, so the tour is... That's a goddamn piece of work. I've been playing around with this thing for a week, and I'm convinced it's a week. The tour is a short-range, uh, semi-active guided missile thing. It's a, it's a fucking nightmare. Look at this smug motherfucker in there. It's a piece of work. It's a, it's a freaking nightmare. It's very, very, very effective and very deadly. It's probably the most deadly thing that you can fight in close range, uh, especially in an A-10. It was originally designed to shoot down drones and cruise missiles and shit, but in an A-10, it's, uh, it's damn near impenetrable. Almost. Oh, yeah. One last thing to mention about it. Uh, if you can take a tour, you can take an SA-8, because the tour is a strictly better version of the SA-8, and I might be wrong about that, and if so, I'm sure someone's going to get in the comments and let me know about it, but as far as I know, the tour is strictly better than an SA-8, so if you can take a tour, you can take an SA-8. Now, the tour is usually protecting an SA-10, and it has other things with it, like, uh, you know, a Zeus or some other AAA or something else getting in close, but today we're going to be looking at just taking the tour itself. And then maybe later I'll do a, 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 a guide on how to take on an integrated air defense system. But for now, we're going to focus on the tour itself. and It's isolated because it's a sneaky little bastard, and we're going to look how to take it out. Now, if you're in a fast mover, what you can do is simply train mask, pop in and out, and all those things. But we're in an A-10. We don't have that kind of luxury. So the first thing we're going to look at is uh, can you... Yeah, it's already looking at me. Can you get so low that the tour can't possibly shoot you no matter what you do? Um, I've had this thing hit me at some pretty low altitudes altitude, before. Altitude. So we're going to test that theory first. And we're going to see if we can just get in there and just shoot it in the face with our freaking guns. See how that works out for us. So let's just uh, skip the boring part and wait until it is looking at us. There it is. It's looking at us now. So we'll wait till it launch, and uh, we'll hit the deck, and we'll see if we can get in there and shoot it in the face. See how that works out for us. There's the launch, so we're going to go ahead and hit the deck. Pull up. Pull up. Get as low as we possibly can. Because we haven't got any trained to mask behind. Pull up. Pull up. There you go. 30 feet right around the two. That's pretty freaking low, right? God damn it. Fucking bullshit. Well, that didn't work. All right. Fucking piece of shit. Let's try that again. There's the launch. We'll hit the deck. Let's see if it can get us this low again. Nope. There goes one missile. Let's try 50 feet radar altitude and see if it can hit us from that high. Pull up. Pull up. There's a launch. Let's get down again. Down to 30. Pull up. Pull up. That's really freaking low. Pull up. Pull up. It's not even locked on to me anymore. Little pull bastard. Up, pull up. All right. Close enough. Pull up, pull up. Where'd you go? You little bastard. Pull up, pull up. 
Nope, that was too soon. Whoop! <laughs> oh no, he still got me. <laughs> All right, this time we're gonna drop a. We're gonna drop a mark point on him for situational awareness. You know, because it's all about the situational awareness. There he is. And we're going to go, doop, mark point. And we'll switch this puppy to mark. Mark. And we'll hit the deck. And we'll see if we can't murder him in the face. All right, this little bastard. Oh, he's already launched a missile at me. All right, let's get down there. There we go. Thirty feet seems to be the sweet spot. If you're not below thirty feet radar altimeter, he's probably gonna shoot you in the face. Seems like forty feet radar altimeter seems to be the part where he really likes to. Get pull at up, ya. And if you're lower than that, he has a hard time. <laughs> Doesn't get much closer than that. Pull up, pull up. Alright, one mile. Let's pop up a little bit here. And in we go. And pull up, pull fuck up. you. Little bastard. And that's gonna be it for him. Alright, so first one down. So, you can technically bomb these things from high altitude, which is a legitimate way to take out a tour, um, because they can shoot down missiles, but they can't shoot down um, they can't shoot down bombs. Now, in real life, they might be able to. DCS will not distinguish. Well, it will distinguish between a missile and a bomb. I think in real life, it's more a question of velocity, but. Uh, we're not going to bother with the high altitude bombing because that's fucking boring. So I'm just going to do the next legitimate tact tactic, which is overwhelming it. And by that, I mean firing a bunch of fuck off Mavericks at it. And uh, shooting so many Mavericks at it that it is unable to shoot at you because it's trying to shoot down all the fucking Mavericks. So, let's try that. Rifle. 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 And rifle. Alright, so let's put this puppy on autopilot and see what the Tor decides to do. Now how are you going to act, you son of a bitch? So that's four Mavericks en route to this puppy. Alright, he's already firing at them. There's one of them. This guy's still going. We've got one, two, three... Three Mavericks still in flight. I don't know, that Maverick's looking a little close for comfort, don't you think? Oh, he got that one. I don't think he's going to get this one. So, yeah. Four Mavericks, seal of approval. That's one dead tour. You absolutely can overwhelm them if you really want to waste four freaking Mavericks all on uh, one measly little tour. Where the hell is he? He's over here somewhere. There he is. Approved. So, the last way we're going to look at legitimately taking out this uh, tour is kind of what I like to think of as a high risk, high reward type situation here where we're going to <laughs> launch a Maverick at it, get shot at, launch a Maverick at it, or launch a Maverick at it and then get shot at by us and see if we can't distract it long enough to get it to stop paying attention to us so long such that it either eats the Maverick or we manage to sneak inside of it and shoot it with a gun. So let's see if that works for us. So Maverick, go to air to ground. White hot. Find him. He's out there somewhere. Where are you? There he is. Drop that mark point on him again. So we know where he's at. Make the soy. 
Let's leave all the soy, zoom in. Rifle. I'm gonna come off him a bit here. Pull up, pull up. Oop, there goes the first missile. Nope, didn't work. Well, let's see, is our Maverick gonna get there at least? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Either way, trading 1A10 for one Maverick is, oh, nope, there goes the Maverick. Well, that didn't fucking work. All right, now for some experimentation. First is, what is the max altitude that this tour will hit you? Uh, so we're starting at 28,000 feet here. And uh, the ground is about 25, I'm sorry, 5,000 feet. So that puts me at 23,000 feet above this tour. We're going to fly over them and see if we can't, uh, we'll descend over them and then see at what altitude he actually shoots at us. There he's locked on to us. Let's see, are we over him yet? We're just about over him now, so we'll start circling down. And let's see when this guy shoots at us. He is upset. Whoop, there's a launch. There he is, he's down there. So, looks like, uh, let's see, 23 minus 5, about 18,000 feet, and he is able to hit you. So, we're going to call that about 18,000 feet uh, is the maximum altitude of a tour. God, I'm getting fucking dizzy. We out. So the next thing we're going to test is uh, minimum range. So we're going to get right on top of this tour, and we're going to fly a lazy circle away from him and see pull up, pull up. just how far away we have to fly before he opens fire on us again, which will give us our, well, his effective minimum range to shoot pull at up, us. Pull up. So I'd rather take a drink there. Pull up, pull up. Oh, he's big mad. Angry little baby. Pull up, pull up. Okay, so we're inside a mile here. Pull up, pull up. Obviously, we're close, too close to shoot now. So. You know, we don't need munitions for this. Let's just dump them. All right. So let's start flying away from this guy and see just how far away we have to get before he decides you can shoot us again. Right now we're 0.7 miles away. 0.8. One mile. One point two. 1.3, oh, 1.3 miles, he's angry. Can we get inside that missile? Nope, we sure can't. Ooh, well, that's not cool. So anyway, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode of bourbon-fueled experimentation and watching me get wrecked by a tour over and over again. Let me know what you'd like to see me do next in the comments. Crazy, stupid, unpredictable things, educational things in the A-10. I'm actually putting together an episode on tips and tricks and how to be effective in the A-10, kind of in the same vein as my CDU tutorial, but not quite there yet. And I wanted to upload a video really bad, so I decided this little mini episode in the tour. So I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, I don't care if you like or subscribe or comment, I really don't, but uh, you can do that if you want to. Thanks for watching, bye.